everyone welcome back to sugar and smiles by parul and to my new subscribers a very big hello to you today we are making something savory but extremely delicious we are making vegan focaccia bread topped with cherry tomatoes and basil leaves it's naturally vegan so i'm really hoping you have all the ingredients you need for this recipe as usual there will be step by step instructions baking tips and also ingredient substitutes another thing is that this bread is really versatile you can have it with a soup you can have it on its own or you can even make a sandwich out of it so let's jump right in so before we get started here are a few tips and ingredient substitutes here's what we'll need for today's recipe 1 cup of water 1 and a quarter cup of plain flour 1 and a quarter cup of whole wheat flour quarter cup of basil leaves quarter cup of half cherry tomatoes 1 and a half teaspoon of instant yeast quarter teaspoon of ground pepper 1 teaspoon of italian herbs 1 teaspoon of unrefined sugar 1 and a half teaspoon of salt 1 teaspoon of dried rosemary and finally 2 tablespoons of olive oil now I'm going to show you step by step on how to make this delicious bread and don't worry it's a very simple recipe. In a big bowl add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. We will use the balance for later for glazing the bread. 1 and a half teaspoon of salt. 1 teaspoon of sugar, unrefined sugar. quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. 1 teaspoon of dried Italian herbs 1 teaspoon of dried rosemary 1 and a half teaspoon of instant yeast 1 cup of room temperature water Half of the plain flour We'll keep the balance for later Half of the whole wheat flour, again we'll keep the balance for later. Let's mix until you get a sticky dough. And now we'll add the balance of both the flours. And keep mixing. Now we will knead the dough by hand but before that let's sprinkle some flour on the surface as it will make it easier to work with the sticky dough. Let's knead the dough for around 5 minutes to get a nice texture. As you can see the dough is slightly sticky but feel free to add more flour while kneading. Now transfer the dough into a well greased bowl and keep it aside for an hour to allow the dough to rise. I have used olive oil to grease the bowl but any other oil will do as well. Cover the bowl with a cloth. As you can see, the dough has doubled in size so what we are going to do now is we are punching the dough to remove any air bubbles now shape the dough into a well greased pan using your fingers now make dimples on the dough using your fingertips this is an important step as it reduces the air in the dough and at the same time prevents the dough from rising too quickly. Now leave the dough aside for further 10 minutes. Now let's preheat the oven to 200 degrees. I'm using top and bottom heat. Let's brush the dough with some olive oil. Now let's top the dough 
with some tomatoes and basil leaves. There are many other toppings that you can use as well, such as caramelized onions, olives, garlic, or even cheese. Brush the dough again with more olive oil. Bake the bread for 22 minutes at 200 degrees or until it has turned golden brown. As the bread is just out of the oven, make sure you leave some time, approximately 10 minutes, to let it cool before cutting it into squares. That's all for today's recipe. I would really like to thank you for watching the video. Also, if you are not a subscriber yet, do hit on the subscribe button so you can get notified about my future videos. Also, do share this video link with your friends and family. You can also find me on Instagram at Parul Till next time, bye!